Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Masita Binti Abakar. I am a student from University Thomson of Malaysia and my metric number is CP190106. This video is for one of my subject for this semester that is soil mechanics. Okay. I am going to discuss this slide about the method of soil investigation, their process, advantages and disadvantages of soil investigation. Okay, the first method of soil investigation is test pits. Test pits is the common use method where we need to find nature of subsoil strata by digging a hole. The pits are normally square and plain and are dug by hand or excavating equipment. The advantages of this method is the one of the most economical means of soil exploration to shallow depths. And the disadvantages are, this method disturbs the ground excessively and have excavation footprint, and also lack of ability to do it. Okay, this is the examples to do this method. The second method of soil investigation is thin walled sampler. The process of this method is with the thin wall, stationary piston type sampler is coring are generally carried out as displacement boring or continuous sampling at once. And then the sampler is pressed by the extension tubes and rods down to the sampling depths using driller. The advantages of this method is it has excellent practicality and durability. It also has thin wall tube and stainless steel. It is relatively common and inexpensive to collect. The disadvantages are it cannot have advanced sampler, not providing quantifiable soil resistant information, and only one test per sample tube. Okay, this is how they do using this equipment. The next method is measure sampler. The process of this method is using core barrel, so the core barrel is rotated into the soil. After that, the inner tube protrudes below the cutting bit that connected to the other barrel. The cutting action of rotation with water and drilling the fluid is discharged. The advantages of this method is, it is on undisturbed core samples from soft soil and nail wall coefficient. By the way, the disadvantages are the equipment is three times bigger and need hash casing. Okay, this is the equipment. Um, okay, the fourth method is soil penetration test. This test is conducted in a borehole. After one drilling is done to the desired depth, the drilling tool is removed and then the sampler is placed inside borehole. The advantages of this method is they are easy, quick and simple to perform and provides representative soil sample. But the problem is, the sample retrieved for testing is disturbed and the test results cannot be replaced. Okay, this is the pictures of the equipment. Okay, last but not least of method of soil investigation is cone penetration test. This, this process of this method is the is cone with face area is hydraulically pushed into the ground or soil at a constant speed of penetration by applying a measure force to the rod. The values of this method is they are rapid, inexpensive, and also accurate. But the flaws of them is they have no sample recovered, and the penetration depth is limited. So that's all for my video and thank you for watching.